Hello everybody! This time I show you a tutorial on how to build this lava door, lava curtain, so to say. Um, lava has some weird physics to it that you have to know of. Um, besides that, it's not much of a big deal. And, um, yeah, just to show you how it works. You could as well um, do something like... Uh, just give me a second, just give me a second. Do something like that. And you would have a gateway, kind of. which opens before you, the rest of the lava stays as it is, you go through, push another button and it falls down, uh, back down again. Um, it has to be in this um, uh, checkboard kind of diagonal pattern in order to make it work because if you do, I prepared something here to show you later, because if you do it the way um, I would like uh, to have it done. It doesn't work. Um, show you real quick. Da, da, da. Break off these three. Put these into place. And here we go. Just put lava here. It'll flow down. Oh wait, oh, I'll break that off. Yeah, that's better. So, if you now block um, these, this happens. It stays active, kind of, even if there is no connection to the block the lava came from. You can do it like that. And it, oh, it will eventually drop a bit, but not completely. Um, it sometimes even stays active uh, when you come back into the level logout, lock in again. So what you have to do is knock that all out in order to get it completely to the ground. Um, if you do it the checkboard uh, kind of pattern, just like that. Is that how it works? Yeah, that might work. Have it like that. And you block it off. It runs down smoothly. You can knock it off there, close it off. It disappears completely, and that's the only trick to it, actually. So, um,. That in mind, you can really easily build a curtain door kind of thing, as I have here. Um, to do that, we need a frame and a kind of like a roof in a room. You can extend it to the side as much as you want. Um, so let me really quick. I think um, that should do it so far. Um, knock that out, that out, that out, and that out, and have it like so. These are actually the holes in the ceiling where the lava comes from. Um, 
like this, I think we should do it. Have a piston here. Well, I did some uh, changing to all that uh, in this design. Revised it a little bit from my original design. Um, yeah, we do it that way. So if you wanna, oh, come on, put a, a sticky piston there, one here, one here, and uh, one here. You can um, have an easier wiring, so to say. So put blocks there, blocks there. It gets really high though. You have to have calculate some space to it, um, which is unfortunate. But um, if you don't want to see the pistons, you need these blocks. Then we need non-sticky pistons which is kind of a downside so to say uh, couldn't figure out a design yet where it's um, basically the same, same as this but with all sticky pistons but um, I'll explain that later so um, got it like that blocks behind all these one row of blocks here close that up um, now what we do is this yeah. that should work, yes Okay, um, we quick put the wiring into place. And, uh, where do we start? Okay, let's make it like this, just for the looks of it. slabs in place here so I can easily walk up again if I fall down since I'm switching between flying mode and walking mode um, the wiring real quick uh, you could probably do it as you please every second the repeater you can start wherever you want and then a redstone dust in between Have it till here. Go down one block. More blocks down. Oh, let's do it like this. We put the lever here. Uh, you could, of course, hook it up to any sort of. Uh, button system um, I hooked it up to a daylight detector uh, in my uh, let's play series um, I'll put a repeater here so that the signal uh, gets to the point of the gets to the end piston um, of course you can do whatever you like uh, let's do it like this should work. Uh, no, it doesn't work. Uh, this does work. Yeah, of course. Um, so all pistons are out. That's the one thing I've mentioned. Um, haven't come up with a solution to that yet. You can see the lava there. Here you have just blocks 
which is cool. I mean, you pro I don't really look up when I'm doing this. Um, while I'm where I'm using it, like walking around, you don't look up and check out this thing up there. But for aesthetic purposes, you probably could come up with something. I haven't come up with something yet, so um, that's up to you. So um, the thing is, if you drop lava now. Um, it will drop to the floor and spread. We don't want that. So what we do in this case is here, we drop half slabs in the same pattern as on top of it. Uh, there, 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 and there. Um, you could, of course, um, do a different method, which uh, I really quick going to show you after I finish this and show you how to place the lava and what it does. So now um, we don't need those. You have this little checkboard inside of your room, checkboard pattern kind of, and the lava drops. And since this is treated as a whole block, the lava doesn't spread. Um, it's a really simple way to do it. You can do it another way, which really quick I'll show you in a minute. Um, placing the lava is not really complicated since uh, if you put it into these blocks it just flows straight down. Um, even if it connects now it doesn't stay connected um, after you use the pistons. So that drops in there. You have your wall here and um, push the button or the lever or whatever you use and it goes down to the ground. Um, now there is a method which I haven't tried yet where you could get rid of all the half slabs if you want to do that. Mm, I kind of like them in the room and I don't really mind having them uh, in this pattern just to walk over it. Since it's half slabs it's easy to walk over it. Uh, what you do is you dig down, take one more down, place a sticky piston, and place a block. No, one more. Yeah, and place a block on top of it. So it's like that. Um, this method I saw quite a while ago. Um, I don't know the, the guy's name. Um, oh, wait, let's do it like this. Oh, crap. The lava drops now, right? Oh, that was stupid. Let's get rid of all of that. Because um, I only want the um, outer lava to... Oh, yeah, great. Great. Good, I'm in creative mode. Um, gonna show you real quick what I mean. Uh, um, I saw this method a while ago by someone explaining a lava door, um, which I thought was really cool. Um, second I almost got it <laughs> that's the problem with lava that spreads you can't kill the source block where it all comes from but it doesn't stop the the lava flow so you got that lava there and um, if you time it right um, let's have that cut off there's lava down there. Great. One second. Okay, if you time it right. Um, I'm gonna. build a real quick. 
quick stare down there. Have it down here. Uh, let's see if that's enough power. Yeah. You put a repeater here, and um, Pooh, uh, two, three. Oh, let's try it out, shall we? Um, so now the lava flows into that hole. It's kind of spread anywhere, and if I. No, it's not enough delay. Um, crap. Okay, gotta kill that real quick. That's the problem with lava. You have to take care of that a lot. Um, full delay. Um, let's see if that works. The thing is, the, the theory behind it is, um, the lava drops into that hole there, which I think this is. Um, you kill the lava, the piston uh, stops the lava flow, the lava flows, uh, drops slowly, and then uh, the piston is pushed back up, which creates this um, without a floor without a hole, like seamless. Uh, you can go over it, of course, it's a block. Um, but there's no hole there. So that's the point this is all about. Um, maybe I have to link the video if I can find it. I'll put that in the description. Ah, no, why is that? Do I have to use two delays? That would be freaky. Um, let me try that. Full delay, okay. Probably also depending on the height of the lava it drops from. Because um, you can um, extend that no matter how high, no matter how, how wide. Actually, you have to use repeaters in between these spots though. But um, other than that, um, you can pretty much extend it to anywhere. Well, yeah, you get the point. I don't uh, get the timing right at the moment. I'm gonna post a video uh, link to the guy who did the lava door um, in the description and you can see for yourself. Um, yeah, that's how you do it. Um, that's how I did it. Um, maybe you come up with a different design to it. I'd be most likely uh, interested in that and um, see how you do it. Um, that's how I did it. That's how it works for me. I use the half slaps. Um, maybe I do some research on that timing for that piston there and get it working then with a uh, floor that is not um, covered with half slaps. But I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching. Bye bye.